Hey about the DVD reviews and unboxing series today we got a nice little steel book of a classic horror movie, just a classic American movie in general. William Peter Blatty's Exorcist. This is the extended director's cut. This is actually the Canadian version. I'm not sure if this was like exclusive to somebody, it might have been Future Shop, because they usually go all the fucking Canadian ones, but either way it was a Canadian release. Alright, shrink grab off now the moment of truth. Is this gonna come out or not? Oh! No sticky jism. Them Canadians, man, they love to fucking <laughs> and fucking <laughs> and fucking send that shit off to you. But not this time. Fucking Warner Brothers, Canada, whoever, they got fucking smart. Did not fucking glue it to the back. Anyway, here you got the front. I know this uh, director's cut is like really controversial with fans of the movie. A lot of people don't like it to put some extra shit back in just for the sake of. You know, this was like the trend, I guess, the early 2000s. Put like five deleted minutes into a movie and re-release it theatrically. So I guess that's why they did it. A lot of fans don't like it. But I've never, I've never actually never seen the director's cut. But So this has been my first time. But I hope it doesn't fuck up the movie. Because I was looking on the back of the card shit. And it just keeps saying extended cut, extended cut. I don't, you know, I don't think there is the theatrical version on here. But anyway... We got the front, very nice, very clean, I like it a lot. Cl the classic image of it, you know, this has been the artwork for all Exorcist releases. I like that they didn't come up with just like, like sometimes with a steelbook, they want to be gimmicky. They could just put the bitch fucking throwing up some pea soup on the front and fucking throwing that on the show. But they didn't, they stay classy, man, I like that. Here we have the spine, just very simple and elegant. This is how most of the Warner Brothers Canadian steelbooks I get. The back, they kind of make it like a little poster where they put the names of the thing and like alternate little poster kind of thing. And here, very nice, very it's simple. We have to I believe this is the priest's. Uh, uh, oh fuck! You can tell I'm a non-religious motherfucking and hillbilly right now. I don't even know what this is called. But it's the thing that the priest uh, keeps around his neck. It's the, the 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 magic religious good luck charm there. All right, open it up. We got start your Blu-ray steelbook collection today. Must have movies you need to steal with. This is all the Canadian ones. I have. I have most of these actually. I think the only ones I don't have is the 10,000 BC because that movie's got awful. I hate I Am Legend, but I think I do have that one. I have a 300 one, but I don't think I have this one. And that's it. I have all these. I don't know. I don't know why you would fucking care what I have or don't have anyway. Then fucking sorry to waste your time with that. But anyway, <laughs> we have a nice picture disc here. Got the elegant artwork as usual, very classic, very nice. I like it. You know, a lot of people they don't care because the disc goes in the movie player and they don't really look at it. But I, I don't know why. Maybe I'm a fucker. Maybe I'm a stickler. I like that shit, man. All oh, great fucking artwork inside, man. We got the priest here, played by Max Van Sido and Jason Miller, raising Linda Blair up, man. Uh, she all levitating. Um, a lot of people. I don't know. Maybe you know this. Maybe you don't. But Linda Blair's back really got fucked up from these cables and shit. They're pulling her around and shit. So it's cool to see this. But it, that was the first thing I thought of. Kind of puts a damper on things. Sorry, sorry to ruin the magic of the Exorcist for you. Because I mean, you can even see her nightgown being pulled up by the wire that's pulling up right here. But anyway, really nice. Really. Clear. I have to say this. Is, you know, even though it's kind of a simple steel book and it's an old movie and shit, this is really one of the nicest looking steel books I've seen in a while. I really like this, man. So that's it for the Exorcist. Go out, get it. I don't know how rare or not rare this is. It just showed up in the mail for me, a gift from a family member. But fucking awesome, man. I love it. The Exorcist. Fucking scariest movie. Hey, that's the thing, man. I had never really been scared of a movie before in my life. But I remember probably 10 years ago, I hadn't seen this movie in a long time. I watched this at like 3 o'clock in the morning by myself, man. And I got to tell you, man, I was fucking looking around the room and shit. <laughs> I, I was hearing little creaks in the floorboard and shit like that. And I'll tell you what, man, this this movie, hey, I'm a tough motherfucker when it comes to movies. I, you know, shit don't affect me, but this is a fucking scary movie, man.